So I'm Captain Mike Lang Glattfelter. I'm a clinical health psychology fellow here at Wilford Hall. Um, I'm going to give you some a few tips on um, sleep for National Sleep Awareness Week. So one thing to keep in mind is that the bed is only for sleep and intimacy. So a lot of times we want to do all kinds of things in bed because it's comfortable. We want to read in bed, watch TV, do our homework, maybe eat in bed. Um, but these things create an association with being awake and in our bed. So we just want to sleep in bed and keep those non-sleep activities in other places. The other tip I wanted to give you is keeping a consistent wake time. So a lot of times when we're working hard throughout the week, we think about the weekend as a chance to catch up on sleep. And this might actually um, have a negative impact on our sleep in the week coming. So you want to have a consistent wake time even on the weekends. So you could give yourself maybe an hour or so to sleep in, but not too much longer than that. So the other thing is if you have any other questions or concerns about sleep or want some more tips, PCM is a great person to ask if you have concerns about sleep or want to learn to be a healthier sleeper or your BHOP provider within primary care.